Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. Alright, so we got ourselves to level 7 right now, and this is how our equipment looks. Luna did get a new spell around level 7 called Temptation Song, which has Area Effect, Hypnotize, which I assume puts enemies to sleep. It's worse than yesterday, Alex. There's no way we could stumble through this stuff. We can't keep giving up and going home, Ramus. We have to figure something out. Don't get upset, Nall. There's something I'd like to try. What do you mean, Luna? What can you do? La, 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 la. la, la. fog just faded away. Your voice, Luna. It's magic. Luna? I don't know how I did that, Alex. I don't even understand how I knew I could. I just felt it in my heart, and then my voice took over. But how? I... Luna? Come on, guys. Now the fog's gone. We can get to Seth in no time. Yeah, we can finally move on. Ooh, antidote. Shrub enemies. Oh, they're called fly trappers. Well, they're not faster than us, at least. Uh oh, poison fang. Oh wow, they they go the entire reach of the level. They almost hit Luna even. Actually, instead of that. What does you sword dance? Which makes me unpoisoned, and then I'm poisoned again. Congratulations. Now, every single one of our party members are poisoned. Every. Single one. Wait, does poison go away? After battle? It does. Well, that could make things a little bit easier. Here, you take one, and I think that's good enough. Mushroom enemy. Side spore. Let me guess, this also poisons you? Alright, focus on this enemy here. Venom Spore. Okay, it does poison, but it doesn't do damage on top of it. So I think we should be okay now that we know that poison does go away after battle. I was a bit worried we'd run out of antidotes. But Luna does have a healing spell, too. Oh man, are we gonna get poisoned? Like, our entire party is gonna get poisoned every single battle? We might be in a heap of trouble if we're not gonna be able to demolish them fast enough. Oh, Ramus's level up suck. It's just HP only. What's the good of that if you can't kill enemies faster? Oh, 
At least she has a ton of MP. Another antidote. That looks like a beholder, but it doesn't float. Okay, it's a Gorgon. That looks dangerous. I bet it can petrify. It didn't die! Nope, it just vomits on you. It's got a lot of reach. Oh, now we get a crit. Didn't hit us. Ow. It can use as many mouths to fight back. Ooh, Alex's range went up too. That can help us reach enemies in a single turn. Just a little bit better than usual. I think I might want to spend some time farming levels. I think that might be the best thing to do at this critical point. No, no, you had targeted the wrong enemy. Oh wow, now it's one shot to eliminate them. Slap! Okay, it's getting a little too close. But yeah, even the fly trappers are slower than Ramus. That's good to know. More antidotes. Who the hell are you? Looks like a zombie. Oh, it's a goblin. Uh, you can tank it. Get in there. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, the hit actually knocked the fly trapper back. Well, that kind of sucked. So it's really going to come down to just over-leveling at that point. Yeah, the enemies are smart enough to try to poison the only character not poisoned. So they will go out of, way, out of their way to make sure everybody's poisoned. AI is getting a little dangerous. Another one of these. Oh no. I'm... Can you use items? Oh, of course you can. How much is a bit? Well, I got enough bit. Oh, I was gonna get that. Oh, it's an antidote. Again. We got an herb. There's another chest. That means I gotta deal with that. Ah, oh, so close. Another antidote. I wonder how many enemy how many items that Nal can carry. This one sees me. Sneak right by. Uh-oh. 
Don't think that's gonna work every time. Another herb. Hmm, this looks like uh, a big clearing. Could be a bit dangerous. Maybe I should hang around here and just try to gain a couple more levels before I move on. Alright, like a good while later, we made it to level 11. And here's what I saw about Alex that's going to be really helpful. I think this started at level 9. But he now gets two attacks per round. And as for Luna, she actually has some spells, including a party healing spell. So that's going to be a great boon for us as well, including being able to fortify our defenses. Alright, so where we go to now? Oh, another one of those chests we can't open. What the? Uh. What? What are you? Stay back! Get away from us! There are too many of them, Alex! Let's run for it! We're surrounded! Alex, I'm too young and promising to die! Ho oh, ho ho! Looks like we have a bit of trouble here! Who are you? Where did you come from? What the heck is going on? Hmm. Perhaps this isn't the best time for an introduction. The kids want some help? Or can you handle these critters by yourselves? Uh, we got it. Of course you do. I'll just stand here and enjoy the show then. Let's see what you got. Let's test out our levels. Oh wow, we're actually surrounded. Six goblins and two gorgons. Yeesh. Okay. Fortify? Too bad you can only select one. If I'm gonna have Alex going out there right into harm's way, let's set up a fortify. Oh, buffs attack as well. That's actually real nice. Uh, I should... Let me see. I also got Explosion Staff. Easy pressure attack. Ooh, this can do a lot of damage if it hits them all and takes them out. Instead of heal friends, you should heal yourself. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely use that when we're in a big group. We got him. Alex, there are more of them, and we can't fight much longer. How about now, kids? Can I offer you some assistance? I'm so bored, I can't stand it! You insist, kids, but you look a little gimpy. I must say, your odds are not improving. We'll tough it out. Relax. Oh, it's the same mob every time. Okay, no sense for me to use explosion staff. I'm only getting two. Alright, use the same strat. Uh, 
Uh, you're probably not gonna do much, so I'm gonna put you on defend duty. Let's see if they put themselves in harm's way again. Seems to be working. Okay, this is the biggest group I'm gonna be able to hit. Uh... We do have an herb. Let's see how that healing spell is gonna work. Okay, it gets all of us, even if we're far away. Okay, that that's good. That means we should be able to win now. through the ringer. But yeah, coming in here without being level 9, oh, it's gonna be hell for you. Alex, I don't think we can win another fight. Let him help us. What's that? Was one of you kids asking for help? Speak up so I can hear you. He's being a little bit pompous about it. We're gonna show him by doing the same strat as we always do. It's worked out just fine. Why would we do any different? Glad it buffs attack and defense, and not just defense. Uh, that they're not as clustered as I like them to be. Yeah, Luna is in grave danger now. Okay, they also get four. How much will she heal herself with? Forty. Oh, that's great. All right, we got this now. Um, tranquil song again, please. Why couldn't you get the crit the first time? Alright, we win. Hey, Alex leveled up again. And we got Vigor! And Luna leveled up! Range went up! And Escape Song! Remus also leveled up! <laughs> 1 HP! Oh, piss off! Seriously, 1 HP! Might as well just give me nothing! We did it! Who are you, mister? Or should I ask, what are you? Uh, 
I want music, please. What a hapless bunch you are! You're lucky I happened to come along when I did. Didn't you know that these woods were ridiculously dangerous for ordinary travelers? Are you lost? Or out for a picnic? What? An adventure? <laughs> What's so funny? The four of you are on an adventure? That's the best line I've heard in some time. Oh, ha, ho, ho, ho. Tell you what. I'll whip up a nice fire and some grub and you can tell me all about it. Don't worry, kids. The smoke from the herbs I'm burning will keep the monsters away. You're smarter than you look, mister. I'm impressed. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you, I think. But I'm not smart. You travel as much as I do. You just learn things along the way. Come on, kids. It's chilly. Let's get closer to the fire. I just realized. I haven't even asked your names yet. You can call me Laika. I'm Alex. This is my friend Ramus. Hello. I'm Nal. And I'm Luna. We're traveling from the village of Berg. Hmm. Luna. Is something wrong, Laika? Oh, nothing. That's just a name I've not heard in a long time. Your village is the birthplace of Dragon Master Dine, right? Yes! Dragon Master Dine is our hero. Well, he's my hero. I've dreamt of growing up to be just like him. So, you're going to be a Dragon Master, huh? I, uh, I... I'd like to. No dream is out of reach, Alex. No matter how impossible it might seem. And in order to accomplish your dreams, you need plenty of food and rest. So you're saying I can accomplish anything? Ha oh, ho ho. Indeed you can, Null. Alright, Alex. Let's finish our food and get some sleep. We have to get up early while the monsters are still groggy. He has the green eyes. I wonder if... What the? Laika is gone! That was kind of rude for him to leave without saying goodbye. But anyone who laughs at my jokes is a good man. I hope we meet him again. Laika said we're close to the exit, right? If we get out of here, we head south. To the port of Saith. Where we set sail for Moribia. And take our first step onto the shining path of glory. Deep breaths, Ramus. Okay, now we can keep moving. Oh, even more treasure. And more monsters. Well, at least we got all our health back. Oh, this won't get all of these? Okay, I guess own OS means own self. Now I can pretty much just melee him normally. There we go! Now we can just cruise through those particular enemies. See ya! We don't need to fight you. Okay, there's a hut over there. Nestled in some woods. So we just need to find a port town. Oh, there it is. We better save in case things go wrong. And it has been a while since I saved. We can take a look to see if we can get some new equipment. Welcome to the port city of Saith. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, 
I see. The fog has lifted from the woods? I'm so relieved to hear that. You're welcome to rest here as long as you like. Do you smell that? The whole town reeks of fish! I'm in heaven! And Nala's our little guardian angel! Ha ha ha! Alright, first off, I want to see if we can find ourselves a weapon shop. There's one. Welcome to the weapon shop of Saith. What can I do for you? Well, for instance, we definitely need to update our wares. Length does matter. Man, that is such a working design system right there. Okay, so you can't even... Well, I mean, you could equip it. So it'd have two ranged characters, but you're good on tanking hits. So I think I'm just gonna give this to Luna. Kinky yet comfy. Why would you need to say that? Anyway, let's get the leather armor. Doesn't say anything else about what stats it affects, so... I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, we don't need the short sword anymore. I say we don't need the sling anymore, either. Or the poison darts. Or the heavy clothes. Actually, you got heavy clothes as well. That can go. And that can go. Alright, we're well updated. I should doing business with you, too. I stay out of here if I were you. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Plus, the beer is watered down. That makes me want to go inside even more. He's trying to help us, Nal. Isn't he? What if he isn't, though? I'm gonna go right in. My store went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. I'm the unluckiest man in all of Saith. I'm so sorry, sir. He's not talking to you, Luna. He's talking to his beer. I lost all, lost all my money. Uh, earned my last voyage. How are... Hey, what are you kids doing in here? I first knew customers in hours, and they're underage. I need something to bring in new patrons. Anything. Oh, that's a you problem. Howdy, children. My name's Brett. I reckon I'm the best there is when it comes to gambling. I don't much care if I'm playing a man, woman, or a child. As long as they have money, I'll take it. Well, what if I can take you on? Hey, this jug has a mail inside of it. it. No! You're getting drunk just smelling that stuff. That sounds about right for him. <laughs> Sniffed it real hard. Well, maybe this is where we can get a boat. Why haven't any ships left for Moribia today? I don't want to wait here a second longer. I'm with you, madam. I can't wait to get out of this awful town. I didn't mean to yell. I'm just upset because I had a fight with my lousy, no good, deadbeat husband. The ship to Moribia hasn't yet sailed. What's going on? I have to return there to close a big business deal. And if I miss it, I lose big bucks. I feel your pain, sir. Time is money. You want to board the ship to Moribia? Sorry, kids. But that's completely out of the question. No, the ship is fine. It's kind of a long and embarrassing story. Talk to the captain in the back room for all the sordid details. Ahoy, mates! I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, bound for Moribia. The sea is tossing so hard that I need my sea chart to navigate it. But I seem to have gambled it away. Harg, that scurvy dog. He won't be so lucky next time. I'll have a rematch or his head, I tell you. 
What's a sea chart? Some kind of really yummy fish? No, silly. It's a map of the ocean sailors use to avoid hazards. Oh, we've run into a gambler before. Over at the bar. Let's see if we can win that chart from him. Or not. It don't seem we get the option. Eh, quiet, you. You think Bizzle would big up a hired singer from Berg? <laughs> I talked to him several times, nothing happened. Watch out for Brett. He's the best gambler I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Maybe I should talk to the captain again. He might know who is the gambler. I mean, we probably know who it is. That's probably one of those games where you had to talk to characters more than once. Hark, son! Don't ask me why I don't have my own sea chart. Ask the Dockmaster, Harg. Captain was fooled into losing a seed chart in a card game with an infamous gambler named Brett. The captain is a fine sailor, but the worst poker player in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with pretty pictures on them. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and rotting cargo. Lovely. Brett! He's gloating at the bar. Yeah, we already know where he is. We ran into the guy. How can I gamble against him? Pardon? You want the sea chart? Hmm. Gamble with me and I reckon we can talk. How about it? I reckon we will. Alright then. Let's play play for 100 silver. Let's we'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin. You guess heads or tails. Call it. Heads. Sorry, son. It's tails. Oh, I lost. How about another son? Choose heads or tails. How about tails? With all due respect, boy, I reckon you're the worst gambler I ever seen. It's heads. Now give me my money. Hmm. Hey, Alex. Did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really look? What do you mean, Ramus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Brett is switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should be a should accuse the best gambler in this town of cheating? Come on, Null. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more fun. One one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. You kids are back! Come on now. I don't want to win no more of your allowances. It just ain't right. We want to make things more interesting, Brett. We want to bet this. A dragon diamond? Ramus, you better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't come all the way to safe to lose the diamond on a coin flip. Holy goddess Althena. I reckon that's the prettiest rock i ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Ha! Huh. There! See? So, Ramus' plan was to beat up Brett? Sure, genius! Put that coin down, boy! Why, Brett? So I don't notice it has two heads? Brett! You're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel! I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh dear. I've been caught by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be ruined. You naughty, beastly boy. And we got our money back, too. I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coins. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Game over, Brett. Give us the steed chart. I... I'm afraid I don't have it. Please don't shove me again. I bruise quite easily, and I'm a bleeder. What? You said we had to gamble for it. I said you had to gamble. But I never said I had the chart. You, you ninny, ninny, dumb, dumb, poopy head. Um, well said, Null. 
I traded the seed chart to an old woman in the forest north northwest of Saith. She gave me this. A fortune cane? Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade again. For this cane. Or something else. Oh, isn't that that shack we saw? I think so. I don't think there's a standard item house, and even if there was, we got enough from the enemies in the weird woods. Alright, let's see what we're uh, up against on the way to that house. Intense music. Hello. Got some bugs. Mutant ants. I trust they're not too tough, are they? Oh no, no, they're they're, they're weak. They go down in one hit. But they hit hard too. That means they're probably not going to give as much experience. Or maybe they will since there's five of them. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. Oh no. So some treasure chests are actually not good. Killer fly? Why is that one spinning? That gives me cause for concern. Okay, they're not very tough. But yeah, that's gonna be annoying that some chests are actually traps. Wait. Does that chest stay open, though? Okay, it does. So you don't have to worry about, like, a... Oh, great. That one was rigged, too. I guess it would make things a little easier if you just... Open all the fake chests, or the bad chests, and then leave, and then attempt the forest for real, so you don't get wore down. I suppose that is an option. Herb. Oh, hello. Mantle wrapper. If there's anything we need to dispose of in this game. There's any plants that think they're wrappers. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get it far in this video. I just want to, like, see what we can deal with. Ah, I got stuck! Oh, well, we're gonna be out of here real soon anyway. I just feel like the enemies in Weird Woods are slightly tougher than the enemies here. Based on first impression. Feels a bit of a letdown. Yeah. 
What if I go on the right path? Ah, oh, shoot. I almost got caught there. Oh, there's bugs on both sides. Alright, well, next episode we'll attempt this place for real. So until then, see you later.